I started using the Steam uh, app because uh, I unboxed like this very rare gun on CSGO in a crate. It's worth, uh, wait, let me, let me see if I can find it. Okay, yeah, I got this. The Stat Track AK-47 Blood Spurt Factory New. So to sell it, I have to like use my Steam app for 14 days. But yeah, it's kind of crazy. This gun's worth uh, like $400. And I got it for a $2.50 case, which is crazy. I only had to spend $500 to get it. Stonks. For just $500, I got a $400 gun. Today, we're going to attempt Ascension 17. Uh, if you have played Slay the Spire before and you know how the game works, type, yep. If you do not know, type D colon, I don't know. Let's see how many people need explanations. All right. Most of you know about Slay the Spire, but for the few of you that don't, the game is very simple. Get to the top, beat the boss, do it again, do it again, and then beat the final boss, the heart. That is one ascension. Do it without dying, and you unlock the next ascension, the harder difficulty. Beat ascension 20, which is ridiculous, uh, and you like win the game, basically. So we are, we've done it on the two characters already. We've done it on the, the Ironclad, the first character, the warrior guy, the silent, the thief. Uh, I'm skipping the third one. He's a weirdo. And now we're playing the fourth class, the Watcher, trying to get like a full completion of the game, minus the weirdo. I think if you watch a couple seconds of the game, or a couple minutes of the game, you'll immediately understand how the game works. You have works. now reached 100 D faces today. All right, let's do this. Once you beat the game for the first time, the game gets a little bit harder. The game's like actually kind of harder by default because the game is like very unintuitive gameplay at the beginning. Like people, when I first started playing, I like took a bunch of cards. My deck had 50 cards. My deck was huge. It was like 70 cards. It was like I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I just like slapped every single card I liked that had cool pictures in it. Uh, and then like, you like barely can win under those conditions because there's too much RNG. But then you like learn how to play the game. It gets a little bit harder. Ascension 1's like barely harder than Ascension 0. It's like 5% harder. Each Ascension's like 5% harder. Then you get to Ascension 10 and suddenly there's like a 10 to 20% spike. Ascension 10, I believe is the one that gives you this curse. It's a card that is completely useless and unplayable. And the only like reason it exists is to make the game harder by making your deck bloated. Uh, you're just like forced to take it and then like ascension 11 is like wait it's actually pretty hard and then um ascension 15 is the original like hardest level and it, it's uh it makes all question marks like less good which is like a pretty big deal because question marks are normally really nice uh and then they added in like a couple years after development they added in ascension 16 through 20 and each one's like ascension 16 makes all things cost like 30 percent more gold it's a lot ascension 17 which we're on right now makes all enemies like 30 percent harder then ascension 18 is all elites are 30 percent harder all bosses are harder and then the final ascension is uh dear god uh it's very donger j you have to fight an additional final boss uh which is actually a really big deal because bosses counter certain types of decks so to fight two of the final bosses uh you have to build a deck that is flexible enough to handle every single matchup because you don't know who the final final boss is Normally, you get to know who the final boss is and prepare for them, uh, but when, when there's two final bosses, you have to prepare for every single one. It's ridiculous. Or you could do what I do, build a, uh, a deck that can only beat one of them, and then just pray that you high roll and hit that boss. All right, now let's talk about the game. Uh, you guys came here to see glory, right? I see a path with a lot of question marks. And even though Ascension 15 makes them worse, I'm down. So if you guys didn't know, the Ascent, uh, the Watcher, in my opinion, is really broken. Really, really broken. So let's go ahead and start off by lose 6 HP, choose a rare colorless card to obtain. I hate all of these. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are doing Ascension 17 run. Apotheos is insane. No, I hate it. The, the entire game comes down to if you hit it early. It's the card that upgrades all your other cards. And whether or not it works is entirely dependent on when you draw it. It's too RNG. All right, all enemies have one HP for three fights, sure. Oh, I like Empty Mind. Draw two cards, exit your stance. Uh, you fall into a puddle, it's made of slime goop. I am taking the damage. Ain't no way I'm losing, uh, losing money. Okay. Uh -oh. Down to remove a card. I think you always remove a defend first at higher ascensions. Uh, I need to buy something here. 
I like Inner Peace. It costs one energy and enters Calm. And when you exit Calm, you gain two energy. Sounds pretty good to me. I also like Flurry of Blows. But this is like a, a stance swapping build. Heal. Oh my god! If I had 13 more gold, I could remove a card. No! I mean, I'm down to heal. Wait, I'm about to hit a shop. I can't do anything at the shop. Match! Oh my god! Oh no! Alright, don't want to go fire elite or... I mean, I'm just going to take this free elite kill, I assume. They have one HP. Ooh, empty fist. Exit your stance. All right, for those of you that don't play the Watcher, uh, once we get to our first real fight, I'll tell you how it works. It's pretty sick. Let's upgrade our, our class card, the Eruption. Ooh, Tantrum. Enter Wrath, okay. Ooh, Bag of Preparation, draw two additional cards. Okay, so there's two enemies I could face here. Uh, I'm either going to face the Gremlin Knob or I'm going to face the Lagavulin. And I really hope it's the Gremlin Knob. The Gremlin Knob's a red guy who kind of stands with like... Uh, the Lagavulin is like a sleepy boy. Okay, all right. So for those of you who do not know how this game works, let me show you right now. Oh, I'm about to pop off right here. You guys ready for this? Uh, the Watcher is like a stance swapping cute girl, I think. I think she's cute. I think it's a girl. Uh, when you you can enter Calm, which doesn't really do anything, but when you leave the stance, you gain energy. So you kind of like enter Calm and defend, and then next turn enter Wrath and do a lot of damage. And when you enter Wrath, you do double damage and take double damage. So there's like this element of try to uh, swap between Wrath and Calm based on what the enemies are doing. So I see a kind of sick play here. I could either just enter Calm, attack twice, and then pass my turn, which in my opinion is kind of a scary turn. Uh, cause I'm gonna take a lot of damage. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna duplication potion. Oh, first I need to use this just to empty up some stuff from my hand. I'm gonna play this card twice. If you are in Calm, and draw three cards, otherwise enter Calm. So we'll play it twice. First one to enter Calm, second one to draw three cards. All right, now I really need this eruption. So I'm going to empty mind, exit your stance, gain two energy and draw three cards. There we go. And then, pew, pew, pew. Don't want to exit my stance. Yeah, I'm done. This guy, he gets stronger every time you play a skill. So for the most part, you just want to go all in. Pew, pew. Wow, that was beautiful. I took zero damage. Whenever you add an attack into your deck, upgrade it. That's pretty good. Wish, choose one. Six plated armor, three strength, or 25 gold. It costs three energy though. Three energy. Now nah, that, that sounds really hard. Do I want to obtain a, a donut? Oh, I definitely don't need to heal and I definitely don't want to obtain a curse. So donut it is. All right, give me the, um, anything but the log of Wulin. Okay. Let's do, start off with vigilance to gain block, then eruption, gain the energy, and then you can attack this guy, and then you can attack this guy, and then you can empty fist. All right, nice. Down to inner peace, empty mind. Draw some cards. This is a solid, this is a solid deck already. Down to take two damage. The Watcher is so OP. I agree. She's definitely like the best class. And it's like not even close. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Uh, I'm not going to enter Wrath form. How do you look at HP? Do you use like a resource? Well, oh, I got Toxic Egg. Whenever you add a skill into your deck, upgrade it. I, every single card I get is just upgraded now. Oh wait, I need to rush down though. It's a power card, it's not upgraded. 
This card looks so interesting. Apply 11 mark, all enemies lose HP equal to their mark. So the idea is you just like stack it, play it a bunch of times, it does a lot of damage. But I, I feel like it's not a good card. Like I, I w it, it sounds fun, I wish it was more viable. All right, whenever you enter Wrath, draw two cards. A shop. Wait, this is actually crazy. Every Everything is just upgraded. Do I want to take the Superior Note Evil? You can enter Calm pretty easily with it. I mean, I've already got Inner Peace. Actually, I'm down for like this insane stance swapping build. Boom, boom, and they're both upgraded. Could have also removed a card. All right, let's just upgrade the remaining one. Remaining cards. I like drawing three cards. Helps me cycle through my deck. All right. Uh, start off with inner peace, then erupt, do a lot of damage. All right, now this slime guy, he splits at 50% health into two smaller slimes. So what you want to do here is get him very close, daddy. Let's get him to 76 health if we can, which is 23 damage. Oh wait, that's perfect. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, and then this turn I do as much damage as I can to get a good split on the boss. 76 damage! I mean, does it really matter? All right, so this is really important. Order matters a lot here. I First, I inner peace. That way I can re-enter Wrath and draw two more cards. Then I go boom, boom, boom. And then I enter Wrath. Oh. Apply Vulnerable to everybody. I just kill. Wow. Yeah, this class? Looking a little OP. Blasphemy Plus! Retain, enter Divinity, die next turn. Ooh! Divinity is OP. It makes you do triple damage and gain a lot of energy for that turn. So you should like use it as a finisher. Um, I'm not taking the Runic Dome, that's for sure. You can no longer see enemy intents. That like kicks you over. I'm not taking Velvet Choker. I'm definitely playing more than six cards per turn. So I have to just take this Sozu. No longer can gain potions. That means these are my last two potions for the rest of the run. All right, how many elites can I fight? I'm pretty sure my build's really strong. So let's just fight as many elites as possible. One, two, three. Calm, empty mind, draw my cards. Okay, you guys want to see something really crazy? I'm pretty sure I have lethal. I, I could easily just like do this in two turns. Yeah, let's do the math. So, Blasphemy triples your damage and gives you three energy. 18, 27, 18. Oh my God, math. Okay, let's just add it up. Six, 15, 21, 30, 36. That's 108. Hang on. No, I think it's actually barely not enough because at some point you're gonna exit Blasphemy stance and you're gonna lose some damage. Okay, I'll just, I'll just do it in two turns. I'll do it in two turns. Oh, this is sick. This is sick. Check us out. I... Oop. Then I draw some cards. Rush down. Wait, I actually don't think I have lethal. I don't... I, I think I like barely don't have lethal. I'll just play it slow. Thank you, Carlos GZ, for the rate of... Ah! Oh, I really f***ed up this fight. Man, all because I like barely did not have lethal. Okay, it's fine. I will just kill him right now. Took a lot of damage for free. Uh, third eye plus sounds kind of good. Gain nine blocks, scry five. That lets you like manipulate the next few cards. I think it's solid. Okay, how do I want to do this? First, let's go ahead and inner peace, draw some cards, and I'm pretty sure that's lethal. Okay, the turn order matters a lot here. All right, I'm just gonna go in. I'm pretty sure I have lethal here. Boom. I'm not gonna sit here for like a million years and do math. Oh, 
ghost trait. I kind of like the card, but it's not good for me here. Ooh! Oh! Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. This is a card I really want. Oh. You encounter a group of bandits wearing large red masks. Hello, pay up to pass. A reasonable fee of all your gold will do. Hehe. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I have the build that can beat this deck. So here's what I do. First, I rush down. Then I use third eye to see the next five cards in my deck. And I'm about to draw two cards, right? So I can manipulate this really hard. Um... I'm gonna cut these three cards out of my deck. All right, so now I... Pew, pew, pew. I draw these two cards, and then I'll use my Miracle right now. I'll empty my mind. Oh, no, no, no. I'll empty Fist, and then Eruption. Rush down again. There's no way I have Lethal, right? I can't Blast me right now. Let me think about what I can do. Oh yeah, I have Gremlin Horn, so I can just kill this guy, draw one card. Bear! Deal eight damage three times. I mean, I could just empty mine and then be done with this turn. Is there something better? I think it's crazy that like, I almost have lethal. Okay, but I'm pretty sure I don't. So I will just defend and be done with it. If you explosive potion, you could probably win, uh, kill them both this turn. But I have Sozu, so like I can't use potions for a long time. Oh, here we go. This is huge. Fear no evil, enter calm, exit your stance, draw, gain energy. And I'm pretty sure I win now. I do that. And then do that. Apply vulnerable. Now I enter blasphemy. And then pew, pew, pew. My god, 36. Ooh, tranquility. Retain, enter calm. Zero energy. Down. I really need... I really need that one card. Um... Uh, it's called Talk to the Hand, and every time you attack somebody with it, uh, you gain block. I could do two rushdowns, but I think this crescendo is pretty nice. Being able to enter Wrath, like, on a whim, that's nice. Would I ever play two rushdowns? I feel like no cap two rushdowns is, like, pretty good. Alright, am I a little bitch? I could do two fireplaces, or I could do two elites. Three elites. <laughs> All right, check us out. First, I enter Eruption or Wrath. Then, I do this. And then, I kill him. I gain energy. Sure. Uh, enter Tranquility, Empty Mind. Uh, fear no evil. Draw another card. Oh, set up two rushdowns. All right, I definitely put that turn up. Bad card draw order. That's fine. 10 times three? Wait, I have a sick turn, okay? Let me cook. We're about to play like, we're about to be like Sekuno playing Yu-Gi-Oh right here. First, I tantrum to enter Wrath. And then this gets shuffled back into my draw pile. And I only have one card in my draw pile. So I'm gonna draw my one card and then draw it back. Tantrum comes back to my hand. And then I empty my mind to draw some more cards. And then, I tantrum again. And then I enter inner peace. And then I erupt. And then I fear no evil to swap my stance. And then I crescendo. And then blasphemy, strike, strike, you're dead. Whenever you change stances, gain four block. My God. Is that not the best card ever for me? I think I changed stance like 40 times that fight. My God! What a hand! Okay, oh, I actually, this is not a good hand because I can't draw any cards yet. I don't have rush down. Let's use third eye right now. And... Yeah, I, I can't actually draw any cards. Okay, so I'll just do this and apply vulnerable. That's my turn. Okay, so this guy randomizes the cost of cards in my hand. So how do I want to do this? I need to play my rushdowns immediately. Let's do Fear No Evil and then Inner Peace to draw some cards. Damn it! 
Okay, uh, no problem. Why don't we just go ahead and empty fist and then tranquility for free. Empty mind. There we go, there we go. Rush down. Uh, two cost rush down. I, I think I have him now. Blast me, tantrum. Okay, I had him by like a million damage. Do I want another tranquility? Is that troll? That might be a little bit too troll. All right, am I a little? No, I'm, I'm gonna fight the elite. My build is so strong. Rush down. Let's third eye, see what our next few cards are. Cut all of these. I need to go rush down. I'm gonna take a little bit of damage here. Okay. I believe I'm fine. Ah! Let me play a more appropriate song here. Behold! This is, in my opinion, quite a crazy turn. First, I enter Wrath and I draw four cards. Then, I play Indignation and apply Vulnerable to the entire team. Then, I fear no evil to enter Calm. You have now reached 100 gems today. Then I use Eruption to swap and draw four more cards. And then I go into fear no evil. <laughs> then I enter Wrath. Then I Tranquility. And then I enter Wrath. Then I exit my stance. And I enter Wrath again. And blast me sure. You can no longer become frail. Cut through fate, pretty good. Choose a card in your draw pile, play it twice and exhaust it. No, thank you. There's like a couple good uses of it, but I think it's a bit too specific. Cut through fate's very consistent. Draw one card of your choosing. Vagina! Start each combat with one strength, I'm down. You have now reached 100 flush today. Oh, starting off with the power cards. Okay, so fear no evil. Inner peace. Oh, oh, I forgot to play this first. My bad. Rush down. All right, all right. Here we go. Let's enter wrath. Okay. Is it greedy of me to play blasphemy right now? I'm gonna do it. If I throw the run, that's my bad. I'm pretty sure I can find a way to kill him with three energy. If I don't kill him this turn, I die. I literally have this Blasphemer thing. Gain one energy. Wait. Uh-oh. I did not have lethal. The problem with Deuce Ex Machina is that I'm gonna draw two miracles and one of them won't be able to enter, go into my hand. Omniscience would make me strike twice and I don't think that kills. How much would that, right, is it from my draw pile or discard pile? Draw pile? Oh, oh shit, okay. Then it has to be this one. All right. Strike twice, baby. Pew, pew. Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. Oh, down for flurry of blows. Man, I really just like threw the run. Just because I thought I'd, I'd lethal. All right, don't want another elite. I'm done for to farm elites. Open a coffin, become cursed. Hell no. Okay, so this one should be interesting. Uh, you always start with flurry of blows. Tranquility, get your flurry of blows back. Inner peace. Okay. Surely this is lethal. Surely this is lethal. Oops. 
None, none of these are useful. We gotta be very careful when adding cards to our deck. Our deck is like very close to going infinite. Rush down. Crescendo. Draw the cards. Apply vulnerable. Down to cut through fate. See what we get. Draw the tantrum. We can start off by inner peace tantrum. Vigilance, empty mind. Okay, not, not a bad turn. Oh, huge turn coming up. First, I flurry of blows, then I tantrum. I get all my cards back, because what the f Okay, so then I f can save that, actually. Flurry of blows, it comes back every time I slap stances. Flurry of blows, and then I fear no evil, and then I flirt. Ooh, calipers! At the start of your turn, lose 15 block rather than all of your block. I really need the card that's uh, talk to the hand. I think it's the only way I can beat the heart. Get jaxed? No, thank you. Uh, transform two cards, obtain a special relic. The relic gives you uh, three strength at the start of each battle, which I don't think is that great for me. I'm gonna transform two cards. Just transform these strikes into something useful. Mental Fortress! That's a pog! At the start of your turn, scry three. That's not that useful to me. But at least, like, it's better than a strike. All right, I think the most important things to get off are my rushdowns. So I'm done to upgrade it and make it free. All right, here we go. We're about to have a Yu-Gi-Oh moment. Are you guys ready for this? First, I play my power card. And then, Flurry of Blows. And then, oh, I, I, all I can do is put power cards this turn. I need my rushdowns to do anything. Empty mind. Give me a rushdown. Where is my rushdown? Cut through fate. Rushdown. All right, here we go. Let the games begin. Eruption. Draw two cards. Flurry of blows. Swap stances. Flurry of blows. Tantrum. Swap stances again. Flurry of blows. Rush down again. Vigilance. Swap stances. Flurry of blows. Tantrum. Swap stances. Flurry of blows. Pop the miracle. Cut through fate. Can we get something that swaps my stance? Yes, we can. Here's Fear No Evil, enter Calm, Swap Stances, Flurry of Blows, Tantrum, Swap Stances, Flurry of Blows. Oh, my hand was full so I couldn't draw it. All right, it's fine. Inner Peace, Swap Stances, Flurry of Blows, Eruption, Swap Stances, I'm full. Inner Peace, Crescendo, Flurry of Blows. Fear no evil, swap stances, flurry of blows, blasphemy. Swap stances, flurry of blows. Oh, these are so good. Take an extra turn after this one. When you draw this card, add three miracles to your hand. Oh, they're both so good. All right, I'm gonna take this one because sometimes my hand caps out. Slaver's Collar. That's kind of kinky. Gain extra energy at the start of your turn. I don't need that. Remove two cards, that's okay. Whenever you exit, call him, gain energy. All right. I need to find the flaming, okay. I have to fight the flaming elite if I want to fight the heart, so let's go here. All right. Oh my, pew, pew. Fear no evil. Inner peace. Ooh, rush down. Yeah, let's cut through fate. Empty mind. Gain my energy. Swap stances. Twenty-four damage. Blast to me. Pew pew. Okay, my deck is definitely like really unfair. We built quite the infinite. Start each combat with 10 block. I'm down. That like gets rid of the low roll situations. 
Upgrade a card. Pray. Um, is it Mental Fortress? Is it Inner Peace so I can draw more cards? I think it's Inner Peace so I can draw more cards. I feel like the reason you would lose is if you fail to draw your infinite. All right. Pew! Let's see what the next few cards are. Don't need Blasphemy. All right, let's do this. So that guy erupt, draw some more cards, rush down again. Ooh, vault. I mean, there's no way this guy's not just dead here, right? Useless. Enter the portal immediately to the boss. No, I gotta, I gotta get stronger for the heart. Wouldn't it be funny if I could actually win with this deck, though? Oh no, no, I, I have to grab all the keys. Here's this first key. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can one-shot this guy. Mental fortress. Pew. 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 Draw a card. Pew! Draw a card. Cut through fate. Exit my stance. Flurry of blows. Change stances. Flurry of blows. Tranquility. Change stances. Flurry of blows. Crescendo. Change stances. Draw more cards. Flurry of blows. Change stances. Flurry of blows. I'm out of cards! Merchant restocks cards. Mental Fortress again. No, we don't need it. That just like lowers my chances of setting up my uh, first turn correctly. Okay, as long as I like play my card order correctly, this should be like unlosable. So much block and then I get to retain a lot of it. Does Vault kill you if you're in Blasphemy? I believe it does. Oops, that was the wrong that was the wrong play. Something that I noticed, um, I thought it was very interesting. If you um if you use Blasphemy and then you die, if you have a fairy in a bottle, you get revived. And I noticed that when it hits you, it, you get hit by a lightning for 10,000 damage. But what if you have buffer, the thing that blocks one hit? I wonder if that works. Wrong card order, but it should be fine. Oh, intangible works. Interesting. Do I need any of these? I wonder if an extra empty fist helps here. I feel like it might clog my deck. It might be good just to enter wrath form. Or to get out of wrath form so I can enter wrath form again. All right. Get the key. Right, I'll get it later. Might as well do it on the last one, right? Okay, I have to take the sapphire key. Alright, let's do this. Can we get something that draws more cards? Damn it. Oh, he's intangible this turn. Not much I can do here. I don't think Vaulting does anything here. Okay, so this is the big turn. Here we go. Flurry of blows, and then I erupt. 
Huh? Ooh, Boba! I'll take the 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 the, the, the Jasmine. Cause it sounds like a sexy girl. It's like I'm drinking a sexy woman. A jasmine milk tea. Alright, let's figure this out. Pretty sure we have a kill here. Guys, a real Giga Chad move would be to pop blasphemy first. And just say, like, fuck it, if I don't get the kill, I deserve to lose. Like, I can't see that far into the future, but I'm pretty sure this is these cards should add up. I'm gonna do it. What's the worst that could happen? Death? Wait, I have to swap stances now. <laughs> I have to immediately swap stances. Every single card swaps my stance. Alright, whatever. I'll, I'll figure it out. My hand was filling. This is useless! This is completely useless. I can't gain any more potions. Do I need another cut through fate? I think it's good because it, it, it's kind of like choose a card of your choice. I really need the card talk to the hand. A meal tick. That's useless. Really, really need the card talk to the hand. Oh, this is sick. This is sick. Check out my turn. This is actually like an illegal first turn. This is like the, when do I get to play the game? That's what the enemies are thinking right now. First, I fear no evil. Then, I do that. Play some cards. Then I do that. And then I empty my mind. And then I do that. And then I, uh, do that. And it's like, well, now I get to play the game, right? Nope. Nope, cause vault. <laughs> When do we get to play the game? Pew, pew, pew. Empty fist, change stance, flurry of blows, tantrum, change stance, flurry of blows. I'm full. Change stance. Change stance. Change stance. Change stance! Oh, I can't kill him this turn. Oh wait, I can. 16 damage three times. Pew pew pew! Every time you play 10 attacks gain energy, we are going infinite, boys! Do I need two flurry of blows? Yeah, my hand's kind of full, huh? Wait, this guy's got 999 HP. Normally, you're supposed to just like survive him, but I bet we could kill him. This guy is in for a beating. Ho 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 ho! Imagine a transient kill right here. All right, let's do this correctly. So first, let's go ahead and cut through fate and see what we can get. All right, tranquility, empty mind. We got to draw through a bunch of cards. All right, and then here you are going to... Uh, Oh, there's not that much I could do this turn, huh? Boom. Flurry of blows. Boom. Flurry of blows. Boom. Flurry of blows. Boom. Flurry of blows. And boom. Flurry of blows. We couldn't even do anything that turn. Besides play 40 cards. Oh, I get to scry. All right. Um. Yeah, tantrum. Draw two cards because of rush down. Play the mental fortress. Flurry of flows. Uh. Yeah. Inner peace. Change stances. Flurry of flows. Eruption. Change stances. Flurry of flows. Third eye. I should have done that first. Actually, I should. Should have third eyed first. That's my bad. Dude, imagine I accidentally play blasphemy. I just die. Wouldn't that be so sad? All right, here we go. Rush down. Tantrum. Ah, I blundered! I blundered, I forgot to exit stance first! Oh, wait, wait, okay, whew. Never punished. Uh, I, I got a vault. Oh, thank you, Wave in XDD for the viewer count rate of two. All right, let's do this. Here we go. This is the turn, ladies and gentlemen. 
Fear no evil. Flurry of blows, empty your mind. Flurry of blows, eruption. Indignation, apply the wrath. Change stances once again. Ooh, I definitely turn ordered wrong. That was not the way to go infinite. All right, what do you guys say? We, we pop some blasphemy and go for the kill. <laughs> it's only 400 damage. Wait, let me, let me do the math. Okay, no, nah, there's no way I can. I mean, you could if you were really lucky, but if you draw one wrong card, you just lose. It's not worth I don't have a zero cost card in my deck. Well, I, I had like one, but it's gone. Jesus Christ. Do I need another one of these? I don't think I do. I am more, more worried about card draw. That doesn't matter. All right, it's boss time. This might be the easiest Ascension 17 run of my life. We just hit the cards that work together so well. And we hit Molten Day Egg and Toxic Egg right at the beginning of the game. So every single card was basically upgraded. All right, here we go. Awakened one. This guy is woke. I need to... I need to get to my rush down. At least one. There it is. Cool! Free no evil. Tantrum. Flurry of blows. Inner peace. Flurry of blows. Tantrum. Bring up evil, swap stance, swap stance. Swap stance. What the f man? All right, you know what, fuck it. I'm popping it now. If I can't kill him, I deserve to lose the run. I never got that one card, Talk to the Hand. So this heart might be a little tough, but my deck feels really broken, so maybe it's fine anyway. All right, I mean, what can I say other than pause champ? <laughs> a deep pulsing dread can be felt throughout the room. Is this the heart of the spire, the source of the evil? 
You prime your staff with divine energy. You deal 2190 damage. The heart squirms and bleeds, but is ultimately still pounding. Are your mightiest attacks not enough? You ask yourself, have I been here before? The heart pulses louder and louder as your consciousness begins to fade. A sudden burst of energy emanates from inside you, jolting you awake. The heart retreats upwards, a large door revealed in its place. I feel like these don't matter. I already gained like a lot of strength and block. Kunai! Finesse? Centennial puzzle? No! Oh! All right. Out of my way, Spire Spears. Oh wait, I can't do anything this turn. <laughs> wait a second. Wow, that's all I could do. Damn. Tantrum. Take another turn. Finesse. Tantrum. Inner peace. Flurry of blows. Empty mind. Draw some more cards. Sure, another rush down. Flurry of blows. Crescendo. Cut through fate. Oh uh, yeah, blast me, why not? Kill him. If you do not play any attacks during your turn, gain additional- Okay, that's useless. No, I didn't get the card, man. No talk to the hand? No, it's fine. I mean, it's just a heart. All right, check us out. There is a sick play that we could do here. Uh, if it comes down to it. First, let's see if we can set up our turn. Try to get all of our power cards off this turn. So Tranquility, Empty Mind. Uh, sure, let's build up some block. We need to set up all our power cards. Get me to the rushdown, please. Okay, so here's the cool play. Uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble with card draw right now. That is why I bought the Centennial Puzzle, so I'll intentionally take one damage from the Beat of Death to draw three more cards. Nice. All right, let the comboing begin. Let's build a lot of block now. Times fifteen. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta, I gotta do this carefully. I got two energy. I got two energy. Um, fear no evil. Change stance. Gain my energy back. Change stance. Change stance. Uh, I guess I should just end my turn. Oh, I gained one energy from my nunchaku. All right, without talk to the hand, we're still somehow living. One hundred and thirty-five.
Yeah, this mental fortress is crazy. Oh, I guess that's just the end of my turn. I'm like barely not able to go infinite here. Alright, I gotta build up a lot of block here. Oh, but he's not attacking me, so I can't fear no evil him. I can't damage him anymore this turn, but I can still build up blocks. Alright, 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 alright. I mean, what can I say? We just more dog loves us this this patch, this run. Alright. Get ready to type glory. I think I have it this turn. We've got blasphemy, we've saved it this entire time. 166 damage in one turn, that is nothing compared to everything we've done this... Wait, I don't have a way to draw cards. Wait. Oh. Uh, something that gives me wrath, right? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm popping it. Pew! All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guessed it. We're gonna finish it off with the potion. Wow. Toxic Egg and Molten Egg. That was incredibly free. Glory. All right, we're, we are closer to Ascension 20. All right, well, I'm satisfied. Tomorrow we can do Ascension 18.